And if you plan to show off your tan this summer, there are some things you need to know about the dangers for your skin. Brooke Landau is going to be right back to talk with a dermatologist about what you should know that is next. The time right now, 8.38 on this Sunday morning. Good morning and welcome back. All right, summer is here and we live in a city that just so happens to have the best weather in the world. But with that comes some dangers for our skin. Here to give us some tips and dispel some of the myths is Dr. Melanie Pong. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Brooke. Thanks for having me here. Well, thanks for being with us. You know, it's it's uh, sunny out here almost mm -hmm. every day. And a lot of folks, you know, walk out thinking, well, I'm dark skin. I might not need to do anything. Tell us a little bit about how important it is for everyone to wear sunscreen. Well, that's the somewhat bad news, I guess, for people that think maybe they don't need to wear sunscreen or protect their skin, is all of us need to. You know, skin cancer prevention really starts from before you walk out the door applying sunscreen. And regardless of your skin type, you know, you are suspect and um, you are susceptible to actually developing skin cancer. Sometimes in darker skin types, a little less likely, but all of us can develop it. And that's why it's so important to take care of your skin. If you put it on in the morning before you walk out the door, or how important is it to keep reapplying and how often should we reapply? Yeah, so if, um, if you're at the beach, if you're at a beach day and it's high activity level, we say reapply about every 90 to 120 minutes, especially if you're doing water activities and some of the sunscreen may be coming off. It's a little harder when you're, you know, sort of in your day-to-day -day job. So what I typically tell patients is apply sunscreen before you walk out the door. And then if you need to do a touch-up, such as on your commute, on the ride there and back, then there's these lovely brushes. There's something called Color Science and they've actually got a zinc-based sunscreen you can apply. I keep one in my compartment in my car and it's a great sort of on-the-go thing that you can use. I saw that for the first time this mm -hmm. morning when you showed it to me and I was amazed because yeah. if you have makeup on already for ladies out there wearing makeup, you're not having to put something oily or wet back on your skin. It's just a, it's a soft brush. Exactly. It's it's really wonderful and it's, it's funny. I have probably a pretty even split between guys and um, gals actually using this. So for women, it's great if you've already got makeup that said there's a shimmer there's a matte for guys it's something that it's so sheer but it's water resistant so for some of my triathletes and surfers it's something they can do on the go it's really compact they can just throw it you know next to their surfboard and it's something that can keep their skin safe perfect now you mentioned zinc you were telling mm -hmm. me that one of the most important active ingredients to look for is zinc tell us a little bit about that sure so there's two broad categories of sunscreen they're chemical sunscreens that change light into heat energy on the surface of their skin and then there's mineral based sunscreens like zinc and titanium and they actually reflect the light back into the environment. We as dermatologists typically like physical sunscreens because that way your skin is not even sort of interacting with the light. You're not getting that heat production and there's not a concern about putting a chemical on your on your skin. So which product here would that be? All of these are actually <coughs> zinc based. So both the powder ones which mm -hmm. were these color science and then there's a really lovely line that um, gets a lot of accolades from the dermatology com community because of its zinc percentage is L to MD and that's something that I love for patients. They've got a broad range from tinted to untinted things for baby, purely physical. Some of them do have a little bit of a chemical sunscreen component but a main component of it is about 9% zinc which is fabulous. And folks can go online to find that they as well. Can. They don't have to go to the doctor. No, you know it's dispensed through physician offices so we have it but I don't care where you get it. I just want you wearing it. And over the counter there are some good zinc based ones. So the thing to do is look at the back of a sunscreen label and say what's the active ingredient if it's something you can't pronounce, it's probably chemical sunscreen. If it's zinc or titanium, that's probably a great one to use. Okay, we only have a minute left, and I definitely want to ask this question. Mm -hmm. Some Sometimes there's a myth out there where we think, well, anything over 30 isn't going to help me anyway. Or if I put something like a 50 on my baby yeah. or on a child, it's not really... So how high should you go? So that's a really good question. If you look at recommendations from some of our dermatology societies, we want you to at least wear a 15. But if you talk to derms, most of us want you to wear a 30 or more. The SPF is just a measure of your UVB protection. That's sort of your sunburn. That's the reaction that happens when you have UVB lights that are sort of interfering with your skin. And so what's more important is that you have broadband coverage. You want something that covers not only UVB or the SPF factor, but also UVA, which we know now is related to melanoma. It's related to sort of aging changes in the skin when people get wrinkles and sort of sallowness to their skin. That's related to UVA. So it's so important that it's broadband. We like 
you to have at least SPF 30 or more. Beyond that, you're not getting that much more coverage. Okay. And then just reapplying when you need to to make sure you're protecting yourself. And you, you sent us some, some pictures mm -hmm. of uh, you know what it looks like and, and um, different types of melanoma and all yeah. that. And that is something we certainly want to avoid. Um, and, and it is easily avoidable mm -hmm. if you really pay some attention is what you're saying. Yeah, and I think the biggest thing, just watch yourself. If something is new or changing, make sure you see your dermatologist to get it checked out. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. There's so much yeah. more we can talk about. We would love to have you back to talk about this some Be more as the summer progresses on. And uh, where can folks find you if they'd like to contact you on their own? Just look at our website. It's artofskinmd.com or you can give us a call at 858-792-7546. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Brown. Thank you. It's All a right. pleasure, Brooke. Thank you so much. We'll send it back to you guys over at the desk.